veterans, Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, and SSDI recipients will learn about the new $2,600 payouts in this video. The rising cost of living is putting a strain on people living on fixed incomes, so these additional cash will hopefully assist. We will go over the criteria for eligibility, the steps to verify your status, and the expected date of payment disbursement. For seniors seeking to alleviate financial strain and preserve stability, this update is vital. It is a watershed moment for millions of Americans as the $2,600 enhanced payments for seniors on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VIA benefits were recently approved. The increasing strain that inflation and living expenses place on fixed incomes is a major contributor to the financial hardships experienced by many seniors, and this legislative move acknowledges that. These checks are a vital lifeline for many people who rely on government aid since they offer instant financial relief. One cannot exaggerate the significance of this financial backing. Social security benefits are a major source of income for many seniors, but they aren't always enough to cover basic needs like housing, food, and medical care. SSDI helps people who are unable to work because of disabilities while it's designed to help low-income individuals. The function of Veterans Affairs VA benefits in providing veterans with sufficient support following their service is equally critical. Additional financial assistance, such as the recently authorized checks, is necessary since many seniors still have trouble making ends meet, even with these programs. Beneficiaries will have their $2,600 payments dispersed immediately, making life easier for elderly who might have trouble navigating bureaucratic red tape. Thanks to this automated distribution, seniors who are receiving benefits from Social Security, SSI, SSDI, or the VA won't need to fill out any extra paperwork to get their checks. Our goal in taking this method is to clarify things as much as possible and get the money to people who need it as soon as possible. The immediate financial strains experienced by seniors are real, and many supporters see this as a big step toward alleviating those concerns. These enhanced benefits will have far-reaching consequences for the elderly. This financial assistance will help a lot of people out with their day-to-day -day costs so they can concentrate on being well and happy instead of fretting over their future. Based on anecdotal data, these subsidies will help seniors who are struggling to pay for essentials like rent, utilities, food, and health care. Testimonials from recipients will show how much of a difference these checks make, giving an idea of the power of financial aid to improve people's lives. Although there has been a lot of hope surrounding the news of increased checks, there are still some obstacles. Some seniors may experience anxiety if there are concerns about possible delays in the delivery of their cash. Furthermore, many people may be frustrated since they are unclear as to whether or not they meet the requirements to receive the checks. Even while the payments are helpful, others may say that the law doesn't do enough to alleviate seniors' poverty. To aid the growing number of elderly people, there is a demand for systemic changes. Assuring that government aid remains competitive with rising living expenses. For the record, the $2,600 payment is mainly awarded to those who are currently receiving benefits from Social Security, Supplemental Security Income, Supplemental Security Disability Insurance, or the Veterans Affairs Program. With many expected to arrive by insert specific date, the majority of recipients can anticipate receiving their payments within the specified time limit. Many seniors may feel apprehensive if their payments do not arrive when expected, therefore it is vital to know who to contact for support in the event that payments are not received on time. The future of senior financial aid may be altered if the increased checks are approved. This latest move might set the stage for further changes, since advocacy groups have long sought more robust and consistent assistance for the elderly. Keeping this population in mind and making sure they have everything they need to prosper in their later years is crucial, as is the continuous discussion about their financial needs. Finally, a significant step toward alleviating the financial hardships experienced by individuals dependent on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA payments is the $2,600 enhanced checks for seniors. We must never stop fighting for the rights of the elderly for their dignity and independence, for their ability to have their opinions heard and their needs addressed. A better quality of life for our older population, despite persistent economic challenges, is possible with continued assistance and legislative action to assist them in navigating the intricacies of financial stability. A significant step forward in alleviating the financial hardships experienced by numerous seniors in the current economic climate has been the recent ratification of the $2,600 enhanced payments for seniors on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits. The cost of living is being further pushed up by inflation, making it difficult for many seniors to meet their critical expenses. Their fixed incomes are frequently insufficient to cover these costs. Aiming to offer quick relief, 
These checks assist beneficiaries in handling basic living expenses like housing, food, and healthcare. Many people have long maintained that government aid should not outpace economic reality, especially in light of the ever-increasing prices of healthcare and other essentials. This legislation's passing shows that these serious problems have been acknowledged and that people are ready to do something about them for the benefit of the elderly. The automatic distribution of the checks is one of the initiative's major benefits this saves seniors the trouble of dealing with bureaucratic red tape. The lessons learned from the COVID-19 pandemic, which demonstrated the need of rapid government response, provide the basis for this strategy. Supporters of the elderly argue that this simplified approach does double duty it reduces financial strain and gives seniors agency by ensuring they have access to the resources they need to live well into old age. Even if the automatic payments are a simple solution, there are still concerns about possible distribution delays and the necessity for clear communication about eligibility requirements. Government agencies must ensure that seniors receive correct and timely information in order to avoid confusion, as many may be unsure if they qualify for the checkups. Additionally, these checks have an effect that goes beyond just providing cash aid. They represent a larger effort to enhance the quality of life for the elderly. Financial limitations make it hard for many people in this group to spend time with friends and family adding to their feelings of isolation and loneliness. Seniors may have more opportunities to engage in community activities, get the health care they need, and spend time with loved ones if they receive supplemental financial assistance. Because it has the potential to boost seniors' emotional and physical health, this social component is essential for their quality of life as they age. Therefore, the increased checks may help seniors live better by promoting social interactions and building community in a roundabout way. Future discussions over senior welfare policy may be sparked by the approval of these payments. More and more advocacy groups are stressing the importance of long-term solutions to problems like affordable housing, healthcare, and social security, as well as short-term fixes to alleviate financial strain. As policymakers examine future laws to benefit the aging population, it is crucial that the dialogue surrounding these concerns continues. This possibility of transformation demonstrates the increasing recognition of the specific difficulties experienced by the elderly and highlights the necessity for policies that can adjust to their changing requirements.